A mega merger that just might break the world, a glass for the final frontier, and an East Coast West Coast beer collaboration, all on the latest edition of The Drinkable Week. Hi, I'm Jeff Cialetti, author of The Year of Drinking Adventurously, and welcome to The Drinkable Week. Well, that happened. Both SAB Miller and Anheuser-Busch InBev have confirmed that the latter has approached the former about a possible merger valued at $280 billion. It would create a global brewing behemoth of staggering size, controlling nearly 35% of the world's beer volume. But as scary a thought as that is, it's not likely something that will be happening anytime soon. Even if the two sign on the dotted line tomorrow, it would likely be many, many months, possibly years before such a thing could be finalized. For one thing, there would be a patchwork of antitrust issues in markets across the globe. Both breweries would have to divest certain assets to comply with local regulations, and that includes the United States. As you know, SAB Miller and Molson Coors operate the Miller Coors joint venture in the States. SAB Miller very likely would have to dump the Miller brand, possibly selling it to its current JV partner or to someone else. And craft beer lovers needn't worry too much. It'll hardly affect local and regional breweries that are already fighting Anheuser-Busch and Miller Coors for tap handles and shelf space. If anything, it enables the small brewers to draw an even starker contrast with the macros. It makes for a considerably more convincing David versus Goliath narrative. The thought of such a merger makes me want to leave the planet, so let's do that for a moment, shall we? Ballantine's Whiskey unveiled a new drinking glass that's designed for sipping the spirit in space. Valentine's commissioned the Open Space Agency to come up with a glass that enables micro and zero gravity imbibing, and they developed this rather balloony looking vessel right here. The core component is a magnet embedded in its base, which makes enjoying an interplanetary dram possible. Let's now surrender to Earth's gravitational pull and head to Denver by way of Boston and Bend, Oregon. Harpoon and Deschutes Breweries will unveil a new collaborative beer at an invite-only event during next week's Great American Beer Festival in the Mile High City. Both companies recently initiated respective employee stock ownership plans, or ESOPs. So fittingly, the beer they've come up with is EHOP, or EHOP. The beer's recipe is true to its name as it uses employee-grown hops. And speaking of hops, it's time to hop on out of here. Prost to everybody out there. Beer and whiskey, of course, are very well represented in my upcoming book, The Year of Drinking Adventurously, available from Turner Publishing at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and every other digital and brick-and-mortar place that sells reading material. You can stay up to date on the book and other drinkable happenings at Drinkable Globe and Jeff Cialetti on Twitter. Any questions and comments, you can email me at jeff at drinkableglobe.com. And wherever your journey takes you, remember to grab the world by the glass.